In this video, we're going to review the triggers available in Zoho Flow, and we're going to set up a flow using a webhook as a trigger. So let's create a flow. And this screen, we have the triggers available. In the previous video, we had two flows that were using the app trigger. Zoho Flow has to add the app to the list for us to be able to use this type of trigger. Next, we have a schedule. This allows us to trigger a flow on a specific schedule, like every day or every Monday. Next, we have Webhook. Webhook is a feature available in many apps, Zoho and non-Zoho, that allow them to send data out. So if we configure a Webhook trigger, we will be able to catch the data and use it in a flow. We will set up a Webhook flow later in the video. Another way to trigger a flow is by using a URL. We can post information to a URL, and Zoho Flow will check this periodically. When it finds the required information, the flow will trigger. Next, we have email. Zoho Flow will provide an email address that when we send or forward an email to it, it will trigger the flow. You can extract information from the email, so it is used on the flow. Finally, we have an RSS or Atom feed. Similar to the URL, we can post data on a feed, and every time the feed is updated, it will trigger the flow. All right, let's create a webhook flow. For this example, we are going to create a webhook in Zoho CRM that will send information to flow. The most common payload format is JSON, so we're going to leave it there. This is the URL where the CRM has to send the data to. Let's copy it. And now on this tab, I already have the webhook settings open. So I'll click on configure webhook. Let's name it. And the method is going to be get. On URL to notify, let's paste the one that we just copied. Every app has different ways to configure webhooks. In this case, we want to send lead information. So the module is going to be leads. And now we need to add the parameters or data that we want to send. So first name is going to be the lead first name. Last name, the last name. And the last one, email, which is the leads email. If we scroll down, we can preview the URL. Let's refresh it. As you can see, this URL is a combination between the URL provided by Zoho Flow plus the data we need to pass. So let's copy it. Now let's go back to Flow and click on Next. The first thing we have to do is to test that the webhook works correctly. So I'll click on Test. And now Zoho Flow is waiting for the CRM to send data. To do this, we're going to use the URL that we just copied. So open a new tab, paste the URL, and press enter. Doing this triggers the URL, which sends the data to Zoho Flow. If we open Flow, we can see that the data made it. This means that Zoho Flow will catch the webhook when the CRM sends it. Now we can finish configuring this flow. To keep it simple, this flow will save the data from the webhook to a spreadsheet. Zoho Sheet and we're going to add the create row action. I'm going to choose this spreadsheet. And on name, we're going to add the first name. Last name is last name. And email is email. And done. This flow is ready, but now we need to finish the setup in the CRM. I didn't save the webhook before, so I'm going to click on save. All right, so far we created the webhook, but we need to decide when we want to trigger it so it sends the information to Flow. Other apps might have different ways to do this, but in Zoho CRM, the most common way is to use the workflow. So let's go to workflow rules. We're going to create a rule. The module is leads. Let's name it. And next, we're going to trigger this workflow in a record action when the lead is created. Next, it will be executed for all leads and the action is going to be webhook. Here we have the one that we just created. So let's select it and click on associate. And finally, we can save it. So to summarize, when a lead is created in Zoho CRM, it will trigger a workflow that will send the webhook to Zoho Flow. Once Zoho Flow receives the information, it will add it to the spreadsheet. The last thing I want to show you is that other Zoho apps have the option to configure webhooks. Zoho Books is one of them. Let's create a new webhook. 
add a name. And when we select the module, we can start configuring it just as we did with the CRM. Here you can add the URL and add parameters. If you click on the value field, this option menu shows up, allowing you to pass any information from the invoice, like the invoice date. In Zoho Desk, we can find webhooks under developer space in the settings. 